I know, I know. I'm just trying to make a point here. So, playing on Nightmare changes the experience of any map that you're playing, okay? So, let's say, let's take one of the worst maps out of the IWADs, right? I mean, maybe not the worst one, but... General consensus is people don't like this map, but if you play it on this difficulty, you can see a big difference. It's pretty engaging, actually. So, you know how it feels like a big room with, you know, just a few monsters? Well, those few monsters become a problem, and now you have to pull, pull out some strategy on them. So some people in my chat, <clears throat> Night Terror, <sighs> uh, were asking me to play this, because at the end of my stream, I just choose some, either a slaughter map or just anything like that, and then just play it with saves after I've been grinding TNT map 9 for a while. And that's what we do. So this one was suggested to me, and I went through it, and I didn't know what to do. I don't know this map very well, I haven't played it for like 5 years, so I didn't get the key, the weapons, or the invuln after I got out of this section, but eventually I got myself a route and I was able to complete it, and I didn't have too much trouble, so I said why not go for a demo. It was like a 45 minute job, once you know what you're doing. Alright, so here is secret number 2, and it's a very useful radiation suit, but at the same time you get plenty of suits if you're just trying to go quickly. If you're trying to UV max this, you're probably going to end up in some damaging floor because, I don't know, you're searching for every last imp and then you might get lost. But here, if you get lost, the imps are going to respawn and you're going to die, so puts a different kind of pressure on you. So the hardest part of this is, well, first of all, these imps, you have to keep zigzagging on the walls if there's a group of them and it's good to memorize where they are too. Uh, and then another tough part is this, and then later on there's gonna be some hit scan. So here I use this pole to shield myself just a little bit. It's okay if you take uh, a little bit of damage here. I had surprisingly high health. Usually I'm lower because I just, <laughs> just kind of, you know, rushing. But you can definitely take it even more careful than this and say it do more health. But now take the invuln, go for the health, Grab the key, make sure to grab the key, and then just get out. So don't waste too much plasma here, I ended up running out and I wanted more. And also very importantly, you have to dodge that crusher, go around it, because if you get stuck under it, even though you're invulnerable, it's going to waste so much time, you'll run out. And these imps, they're impossible to dodge as far as I'm concerned. Uh, yeah, And then you got to deal with this mancubus here. It's nice uh, for him to be dead, because we're going to be running back through this. And then there's going to be also revenants in there. So next up, this is the part I was talking about with the hit scanners. They're going to be behind you and stuff. So I chose to just be aggressive. This is what I saw all the speedrunners doing, and I said, "Why not? It's a pretty short run. Uh, it shouldn't take too much." So I did that. And but one thing I did do that was safer is I went for this stim pack. I didn't really need to. I could have gone straight in for the yellow key, which is in the door right here. But I think those guys are actually awake. And here I am shooting at nothing. There's actually two chain gunners. See, but uh, they decided to hide this time. But yeah, now we're going to run back and now they're all respawned. And you can get hit usually a lot more than that. There's a hit. There's a chain gunner up there, a chain gunner in the corner there, up there, and then two here. I didn't even, I didn't even know. It was like my second time getting here. So it, it's not a problem as long as you just keep moving here. And then this is the exit. I like to SR50 there, I don't even know what you're supposed to do normally, but yeah, just avoid that arch file and then you're done, that's Mount Pain. See, so I found that pretty engaging, I mean, don't you think? Don't you think that looked a lot more fun than like a UV Max or something? So, uh, breathes new life into these levels. Now, I always thought about doing a TNT playthrough like the Plutonia, but there were some things stopping me, like uh, <clears throat> Map 9, <laughs> but... Uh, we'll we'll just see what the future holds. No promises, though. Till next time, peace.